All right, everybody, I'm gonna do this experiment and I'm gonna see how much, to, to dilute, um, to stop acid from working, everybody knows you use baking soda, okay? Like when you get, uh, you do the acid thing with the baking soda and vinegar and it foams like crazy. Well, I'm gonna do the same thing with sulfuric acid and hydrochloric acid. How much baking soda is it gonna take to dilute a quarter cup of each one? and we'll compare it with vinegar. So, let's get going. All right, I didn't have regular white vinegar, so I'm gonna use apple cider vinegar. We're gonna try this out. Quarter cup. Quarter cup. Let's mix it around a little bit. Safe enough to use for my fingers. All right, quarter cup to quarter cup. All right, it looks like it. I can probably put another one in there. Let's sprinkle. Let's see if, the, if, if this one. Will... That still foams. Okay. Another quarter cup. It's starting. It's neutralized. Pretty good. Almost a, a, a quarter cup will dilute another quarter cup of acid. It's still foaming a little bit. You know what? Yeah, I'll say a third cup will dilute what the apple cider vinegar. There you go. Let's clean it up and do another one. All right, a quarter cup of sulfuric acid. This. There you go, it's nice and thick. All right. That's really gone. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's really, that's hot. I hope it doesn't break my bowl. I hope it doesn't break my bowl. Let's put another one in there. Yeah, it's a little hot. Yeah. There we go. Hmm. It looks like a half a cup, maybe. Let's taste it. No. Yeah, the bowl gets very hot from uh. Okay, now it's warmed off. It, it cooled off really good. Yeah, I'll say a half a cup. You got some some bubbling over here still. All right, that's cool. There we go. On this. All right. Try one quarter cup of baking soda. Let's go. Oh, that's really fizzing. Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit, folks. You put aluminum in there, and that'll probably kill it. It'll eat that aluminum a lot quicker than sulfuric acid. Certain acids will, will eat certain things. Mix it up. Yeah, see that ate it up. The sulfuric acid, it was probably still caustic, even though it was real thick. Be careful where I put this. Let's try another cup in there, half a cup. A quarter cup. Ah, it looks like it's taking care of it already. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. I thought it was going to take a heck of a lot more. 
So half a cup for the, I would say a, probably three quarters of a cup for the sulfuric and then a half a cup for this. This is just totally gone. Let me, let me sprinkle a little bit in there. And we don't get anything. So that's totally dissolved. So there you have it folks. Uh, the vinegar was the least um, acidic and it took about a, a, you know, a half a cup to totally dilute that. That wasn't that bad. The sulfuric acid took about three quarters of a cup but I still think it was still caustic, like it would still hurt you, burn you if you got on your got on your arms because it was real thick. Where the hydrochloric acid, it took about a third of a cup to totally dilute that. And the difference between hydrochloric and sulfuric, hydrochloric will, will dissolve metals faster than, than sulfuric. Sulfuric will will more what organic material like your skin. And I did a, an experiment on that. I had a drop of, of both acids put on my arms, and it, it, it uh, the experience was, it turned out what I thought it was going to turn out. So there you go. And I wonder if you could use baking soda when you're eating spicy foods, because isn't spice like uh, like acid, the heat, the hot, like rinse your mouth out with baking soda? I don't know. Maybe I'll have to try that sometime in, in, a, in another future video. Eat some hot sauce, try some baking soda, and see if it dilutes it. So, anyways. If you enjoy this crap, my stupid videos, you can subscribe, you get some more, and if you don't, you can just go on to the next video. And thanks for watching. I'm going to have a beer.